Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with a small little tour of a part of our city zoo. I promised that when I would finish the dingo habitat and the restaurant, which I did not make a speedboat video of, uh, I would do a tour with like the meerkats and the fennec fox and uh, the red kangaroo, the dingo. And we're also going to uh, include the other Australian animals and one more African animal in there. So yeah, it's going to be a small little tour as I, I promised like months ago already. Uh, so without further talking, let's just do that. But I'm going to pause this because my FPS in this zoo is just, it's low. It's, uh, it's around 9 FPS if I play the game. Right now it's like 18 FPS. So this is a little bit more doable. So I will just unpause it once we get there. So this is the entrance and what we're going to follow is basically a path um, right over here. We follow the bridge, then we go through the Riviera Hall on the right side. Then we go around it to the red kangaroo, the dingo, fennec fox and the meerkat. And then we have the ringtail lemur here as well. So just to give you an idea, like obviously there are some bits and pieces that we still need to do, like some some lights or some bins and benches and those kind of things. Uh, but mostly this area is now finished. So this is definitely one of my most favorite habitats that we built a long, long time ago. If you, uh, oh wait, we have a box animal here. If you have been following my channel uh, since ever that we started with uh, City Zoo, you obviously do know this habitat, definitely one of my most favorites. I have no idea anymore what this was inspired of, but it still looks super cool with like the tires and stuff. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I actually don't really, oh, there are the ringtail lemurs. I only see red rough lemurs here. Definitely one of my most favorite uh, habitats of this zoo still, but there are a lot of them. So yeah, I, I can't really choose, I guess, but we will see the other side of this habitat once we go around this whole area. We also have some flamingos over here as well, of course. Uh, not really included in this tour, but since we're here anyways, let me just uh, show that as well again. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to do. There are some staff areas around here in the backside as well. Uh, but yeah, we still have definitely a lot of work to do still in this whole zoo, but we're now going to hopefully show what we have been doing so far and what we kind of now finished on this area. So this is the uh, the backside of the ringtailed and red rough lemur, all in the uh, more older city zoo style, at least that is the approach that I'm having here. Some really cool uh, climbing frames and stuff inside here for these uh, ringtailed lemurs and stuff. Oh, there's another box animal. Well, I'm just gonna gonna leave that for now. All right, let's just go through. Are we going through the Riviera Hall? Let's go through the Riviera Hall. We have another path right over here, which we can uh, also follow for just a little bit. Uh, so yeah, let's go through this, uh, this huge building. I think this is the biggest building that we have in the game. We're only gonna watch the, um, or in the zoo, I mean. <laughs> We're only going to watch this. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We had a museum here. Gosh, it's been such a long time since we built this. These are skeletons. You, you should definitely uh, go and find the speed build episode where I built them so you can find the links to these uh, uh, skeletons because I did not create these skeletons just to, to clarify, but I did do, of course, the uh, building and interior right over here. So we have the... Um, Australian uh, wing right over here and on this side we have a little restaurant area so we have some shops right over here and just some some green and stuff to to decorate the whole place so people can uh, can uh, get some drinks and some food they can go around here there's plenty of uh, things they can choose from I think they're very happy with that this is definitely built right after the um, pack uh, Australia pack launch so then we go to the uh, koala habitat. Oh, that's right. I actually did not intend to have glass here, but they were escaping. So yeah, we could not really uh, do anything else with them. Wait, is that like a little tiny baby koala? Oh my goodness. That is so small, isn't it? Oh, I love that. 
And, uh, oh gosh, there are so many here. <laughs> But yeah, they have this indoor and this outdoor section and the outdoor section we will uh, look at from the other side, of course, as well. But they have a very nice tropical and lush environment inside here. Definitely uh, tried a lot with like the, the red uh, rocks as well from the, from the new pack and the new plants, of course. And then we have this cassowary indoor section right over here. I see they are both outside. We might have four even of them. I say, I, I remember that you can only add two in a habitat. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to add four just to, have, to see them a little bit more when they are walking around. Okay, that's not really working uh, in their habitat. But yes, I know you should only have two uh, because I don't really like to have um, too many in their habitats. Okay, there is another one. We might even have more since we have... Okay, yes, there's four. <laughs> But it's a sandbox mode, so you can get away with that. So that's all fine and good, I guess. Uh, so we have some signs here as well. All right, so let's just go and pause the game a little bit and go outside right over here. So over here is the back side. No, it's not. On that side is the back side of the now Indian Rhino, but we're definitely going to change that to the um, uh, the, 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 um, the white Rhino from the latest pack. And this is the outdoor section for the cassowaries. I honestly can't remember anymore what habitats I inspired these habitats off. So you really should check out the uh, speed builds of these habitats to know exactly what I use for inspiration for these habitats. But yeah, a very nice and lush habitat for the cassowaries on this side as well. Just to make sure that they have their privacy if they want to. But also can uh, can still be seen by our guest in this zoo. I had to uh, reduce the amount of guests to 500. We had like 2,000 guests or something like that. But I was like, ooh, so such a low FPS. I need to try and reduce anything I can at this point. But for some reason, like changing the graphics doesn't do anything for my FPS. I, I still don't understand how that works. But it works like that. So yeah, I, I really have no idea, but it just doesn't work. Uh, this is, as you can tell, the koala outdoor habitat, making sure that they have nice trees and stuff to climb on. I, I don't think anyone is, is climbing at this point, unfortunately. Uh, they have a little bit of water. They actually can swim. I think when I built this habitat, I actually didn't realize that. <laughs> but they are not able to skip this habitat. So I think it's uh, it's all good. And this is then the, um, there's the staff path right over here leading to the backside, I think. And then this is the backside of that restaurant that I just showed. So now we're going to follow this path again. So we can go to the red kangaroo and the dingoes and the meerkats and the uh, fennet fogs. We have two bridges right now. So I, I did uh, create the bridges. I did do a lot of foliage work in between. There's like this river in between as well so yeah i, I try to uh, detail as much as possible and to uh, make it all look finished i did forget this area now that i see it once well, i think it's all right to keep it grass but i think i'm going to fill it up um so if we go and follow so right over here just to give an idea this is something that we're going to uh, to finish in a later stage and then we're going to do a tour as well from the other wing of the Riviera Hall and then at this area we have a Mandro Island. We have the West African Lion right over there. We have some Warth Hogs and some Art Farks there. But yeah, this area is definitely not finished yet. We're gonna have like this little park section or something like that. I think we also have Okapis right over here. So yeah, this tour will definitely happen once this area is finished as well. I think I'm gonna finish this area sooner than later. So yeah, hopefully in not a long, a, a too long time. Uh, so right over here, we go over the same type of bridge that we have on the other side, a little bit further away right over here. Uh, obviously, this area is still a work in progress. Uh, but we have, so right over here, we have a little kangaroo restaurant. So this is the kangaroo habitat. This is a more plain habitat, definitely, because the kangaroos, well, they need free space to, to wobble around. When I built this one, we did not have these uh, aquatic rocks, so I definitely added these in a later stage, just to give it a little extra touch to this habitat as well. 
Uh, but yeah, this is a restaurant、uh, or a house hat that you can see from the little restaurant that I made. That is not in a speed build, so that is the thing that I added last before recording this little tour for you guys. Uh, but that is, I think that's a just that's just really cool. So we have this little restaurant. We have these、uh, kangaroo statues all on the on the sides, and you have they said this pretty big seating area right over here. And、uh, you can you can definitely just、uh, have a peek at the、uh, kangaroos from here. It's obviously not like super spectacular, but the idea is that you can look uh, uh, towards the kangaroos at this side. So this is a round restaurant. Well, it's it's more of like a shopping building, I guess.、Um, this one is a little bit inspired of a little round building that there is also in Rotterdam Zoo. I I I know there was a name for it. It's pretty close to like the old entrance, but I couldn't really find it. So all I could see was like this round building from Google Maps or like the satellite images. And that was like okay. I'm just gonna use use that round shape as inspiration and just、uh, build a little shop in here. So we have、uh, some water and some hot dogs. And then if you go around this building, you have a toilet building right over here. And yeah, you can just、uh, go around this building as well. So yeah, there there are many ways here to、uh, let your guests spread around a little bit if you want to. And we have some more kangaroo statues right over here. But I'm actually quite happy with like this. Like we don't really need too much here because we already have. I will show that in a bit. We have that restaurant that I just showed in like the Riviera Hall, like that Australian restaurant.、Um, and then we have another area right next to the entrance. So it's all pretty close to each other. So I don't really think that we have to build something humongous here. Um, to to have another restaurant like for the Australian area where this is basically placed in, we already have the restaurant inside of the Riviera Hall. So I think this is just the perfect size、uh, for this open space that we have. Let me just show you from the top as well. I really tried this. This was a pretty big area still, but I really tried to、uh, put down as many paths as possible. And、uh, to keep like this open space for some seating areas for people to rest and stuff,、uh, yeah, I think it definitely、uh, definitely works, and it really pops out a little bit. It's more open right over here. Like a lot of the zoo is more dense, so I think this definitely works. And、um, so yeah, okay, let's just go here because we have like this little seating area as well right over here. If you wanna chill and look at the、uh, rat kangaroos that are. Right in front of you, right over here. That's really cool. And then you can go to this side, where we have this dingo.、Uh, well, this is more of a shelter area for the guests and to get some more education. Right over here,、uh, definitely uh, uh, a lot of fun to build this one. This is、uh, something that we recently built,、uh, so not right after the Australia Pack launch, but like a few weeks ago only, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun uh, to to uh, finally have the dingoes in our zoo. So this is basically like a little bit representing the biome that the dingoes are are、um, are from. And、uh, on the other side is more of like the、uh, temperate biome of City Zoo. So that is more of like the nature that was already here. And keep in mind, I'm building sandbox mode, so I'm not paying too much attention to what the animals maybe want in their habitat or not.、Uh, so this is the other side for the dingoes. They have this like this little cute shelter area here, which I really love with like the logs and stuff. A little water area to chill. And just nothing really spectacular, but they have just this foresty. Area where they can、uh, walk around, run around, play around, whatever they want to do, and the guests can obviously sit down right over here if they want to and just have a, a nice look at the lovely, cute little dingoes right over here. And if we then go further, we get to like like these were all the Australian animals. Like there were only four, and while、well, the blue lizard thingy, that one is obviously in one of the exhibits. And then we go right over here to the fennec fox habitat, 
which is like more there there's like the meerkat habitat and then the ringtail lemur so this basically connects the african area as well i will show that as well from the top um so right over here we have the cute little fennec fox habitat uh just a little aviary ish habitat you can download this one as well from the workshop it's one of the few habitats that i actually upload to the workshop i mostly just wait until my whole zoo is finished before i start uploading anything from a zoo so yeah this was definitely an exception oh wait there's one on top of here oh that's so cute can we see that from the other side oh, look at that it's actually standing on top of here. So yeah, they can indeed walk on top of here and be underneath in this little shelter area. But definitely a habitat that I really enjoyed creating. Something that we haven't done earlier. Something that I really do hope that we get some birds and stuff in the future. So we can, we can build more aviaries because I really, really did enjoy doing this. So yeah, hopefully... We got a, an aviaries pack or anything like that in the future. That will be just super amazing. So if we then continue our path right over here, uh, we have the other bridge here with the koalas on the other side. Oh no, this is the cassowary and the koalas. And then we move right over here. Now we go almost to the entrance area. And then you have the meerkats right over here. So they have... A very small habitat. This is definitely inspired of like the older classic uh, uh, city zoos. So yeah, I really wanted to make something small for them and something they could still enjoy. I don't like this this water pie, but I had to. I had to add that one. <laughs> but yeah, they have this this small area right over here to roam around. There's a cute little meerkat right over here. And they also have this indoor section. There's also a staff building right over here, which is also from the backside connected to the fennec fox habitat, which is in the in the back there. Uh, we have here some educational signs. This is the little indoor section. Can we could just go through the glass like so? So they have this little indoor section. Just yeah, I don't know what uh, what it is inspired of, but I just wanted to make it. A little bit more narrow and have the feeling that this is really a small section but it's sometimes really hard to do that with like the planet zoo pieces because they're still like humongous uh but i think i, I think i did quite a quite a good job in creating something small indoor uh for a city zoo style zoo and you have some heaters here as well of course and then we have this meerkat sign as well for some more education all these billboards and, and pictures that you see that are different from the ones you have in-game, you can all download these uh, from my Discord server. The link is in the description down below and there is a chat room with like billboards and there you can download any billboards that I uploaded. Also some webcams that I made for Pontazoo, so definitely go and check those out if you um, want to use my billboards as well. So this is like the backstage area, so... The fennec fox habitat, and this is going to the meerkats. And then we go right over here. So we got to the other side of the lemurs that we just saw. I think oh, this, this is still, it's still one of my favorite habitats. But the fennec fox and the meerkats and, and the dingoes are all definitely also my favorites. Oh, they're all so much fun. I had so much fun building all these. I really do hope that my FPS will... will be able to hold for as long as possible that we're able to finish this soon. Uh, so right, okay, I do need to do a little bit more detailing uh, right over here still, but this is the entrance, so right over here is where the guests come from. And then we have two toilets right over here, and this is like something that we built probably in the beginning of this whole series. So we have another restaurant right over here at the entrance area with some toilets. So. As I just said, like with the, with the restaurant that we just built, like the last restaurant, um, it definitely makes sense. So we have one restaurant here. We have one restaurant here. I don't think there are toilets here. So having toilets right over here at least and right over here, uh, right over here in the corner, I think this is enough. Uh, but but there definitely should be some more toilet work probably over there. But we also have toilets right over here. There is also a restaurant in this building. 
Uh, so yeah, I think when it comes down to the needs of the guest, looking at it from above, maybe some more toilets, but definitely this particular area, I think is covered right now, but I don't think that this should have been like a huge restaurant. We have a restaurant here, we have a restaurant here, we have a restaurant here. And I think a small restaurant here. I think this is this is definitely enough. Definitely something that I actually did not really pay attention to. So this more happened than that I planned it. Well, I did plan this restaurant and this restaurant. I don't know. It I was I was not really busy with that or anything, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, right now we looked at like this is the entrance. So we walked through this Riviera Hall building right over here. We went to the other side, then we went back over this bridge we went to the red kangaroo uh, the dingo habitat is right over here we have the restaurant we have the fennec fox right over here and this is the meerkat habitat so regarding path i know sometimes people are like how do you do your path and how do you connect things it's hard to tell because i really create this very lush zoo but hopefully it all makes sense as far as this area goes as I said, like if we are going to finish this uh, mandro habitat area or like the park, at least in the front of it, and uh, like just filling in all the bits and pieces that we're missing around here, then we're definitely going to do another tour of like this more African area. So we will probably start here, have the bonobos. I think we have hyenas here. I'm not really sure anymore if we moved any animals. <laughs> and then we will go through this other side of the the... Rivera Hall Wing, which we will then have like the white rhino as well, the okapi, bongos, uh, giraffes, elephants, etc. So, so that is definitely the next small tour that we're going to do. Is well, it's not really small, but we're going to do this, this more only African area once this is finished. So, yeah, I really do hope that you guys enjoy this uh, this short little tour. I, I know that a lot of people always keep asking me, "Can you do a tour?" But the whole tour we're gonna keep for for of course when the whole zoo is finished so we're not going to do any complete tour that we have going on right now but we're definitely going to do a tour once everything is finished but yeah bits and pieces is definitely something that i enjoy doing so hopefully you guys enjoy this as well do let me know in the comments down below of course leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more of City Zoo, definitely go and check out this uh, the whole playlist. There are like 60 videos right now or something like that. Really an amazing project. I really love working on. So really do hope that you guys uh, enjoy it and that I can inspire you guys with these, uh, these City Zoo builds. And yeah, for other Planet Zoo content, I definitely also have you covered on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.